from the WBBZ TV studio in the Eastern Hills Mall, it's time to play. Where two teams come together in a battle of wits to determine who will leave with bragging rights. And now, here's your host, John DeShulo, with today's two teams. Hey, what a great crowd we have here tonight. It's unbelievable. We need you here at the Eastern Hills Mall studio, WBBZ TV, where it's fun and you meet hometown teams and we play trivia on the red team, Team Bazinga, from all over Western New York. Wild. They're on fire, that's what I like to say. And they're playing against the better halves on the blue side. There's some family connections here and all kinds because our guest scorekeeper is none other than Gail Petrie, the daughter of our own Kim Piazza Petrie here at WBBZ. Gail, you are an artist, a vocalist, a student, and uh, we were taking a look at some of the artwork. Uh, your mom, Kim Piazza, from WBBZ's uh, What's the Buzz and Talk to the Town, who's over here on the red team, and we'll meet in a little bit. But Gail, tell us the inspiration for your artwork. It's just stunning. Uh, well, I really like to look at uh, the artwork of some people from Disney and people who make uh, TV shows and all kinds of other movies. Uh, sometimes I just go on uh, Pinterest and look up people who model, and that is really nice for inspiration too. And I should say, you know, this is not traced artwork. This is freehand. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is of you course. drawing from your imagination. It's just great. <laughs> and we're gonna we're gonna touch base with Gail in just a little bit and uh, meet her mom too. But first, friends, let's meet the team captain on the red side. You are William Dixon. Hi, William. How are you? Good. I'm honored to have you here on the show today. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, what do you do, William? Um, I am currently a worker at Wegmans on Alberta Drive, and I have been a volunteer at Saba for over three or four years. And we should mention Saba is the skating association for the blind and handicapped. And what do you do, uh, William, when you uh, volunteer at SOP? Um, I am actually a volunteer. I help uh, other uh, kids uh, learning how to ice skate. I think that's an inspiration. I really do. And, and, and I'm so happy that you're here to join us. And I've, I go way back with Elizabeth O'Donnell, who started SOP a long time ago. So who else is on your team? My girlfriend, Amy. Amy, how are you? How long have you been dating? Over two and a half years. Good for you. And next to Amy is, of course, Kim Piazza, Gail's mom. We were one person shy of a third uh, person for your team, so uh, Kim jumped in. Your, this is very exciting, William. You have, uh, you know, royalty on your team. Ah, I see. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it's, girlfriend. it's girlfriend royalty. All right, we're going to come over now and meet uh, the team captain. Here you are. Sandy Saransky. Sandy, how are you? Good. Looking forward to having some fun. Yes, I am too. What do you do, Sandy? I'm a retired registered nurse from Buffalo General. Ah, good for you with all that work that, that you did then. Now, how are you con connected here to our teams? Well, Amy's my daughter. Good for you. And Will's her friend, and we just met Kim. Yeah, so it's all in the family. She's your new friend. Right. For life. Right. Yeah, she's great. Who else is on your team? Uh, this is my husband, Dan, and that's Will's mom, Fran. All right, Dan and Fran, thanks for being on the show. All right, we are ready to play bragging rights. By the way, the blue team won the coin toss and gave it up to the red team, so they're going to start. Yeah, good folks here. Each question's worth 10 points in the first round, 20 points in the second, 30 in the third. Take a look at Gail over there on the uh, scoreboard. You want to get your X's or your O's across, up and down, or diagonal. So when I ask you where you want your game block, make sure you understand that strategy. We're playing for points. We have some fun prizes. And the winning teams, you become eligible, if you win, to uh, be in the drawing for three LED 50-inch TVs from Dirt Cheap TV. Yeah. Big prize. All right, William Dixon, my new friend, you are up next. Where do you want that game block to go? Why don't we go with A1? At the top, right at the beginning. This is ripped right out of the headlines, William. I hope you're staying in touch with the news. After the first two states, Iowa and New Hampshire, conducted their votes, Democrat Bernie Sanders tied Hillary Clinton in Iowa and won New Hampshire by 60% to 39%. A total of 436 delegates were won at that point. What was the delegate count? A, Sanders 394 to Clinton, 42. B, Sanders 236 to Clinton, 200. 
or C, Sanders 42 to Clinton 394? Okay, it's A or B. It's definitely A or B. Can you read us A or I and B I certainly will again, read Mr. A Mr. and Shulam? I will read them all. A, Sanders 394 to Clinton 42. B, Sanders 236 to Clinton 200. C, Sanders 42 to Clinton 394. What do you guys think? I think it's A. I know Kim follows uh, the news and discusses politics with uh, Phil Arno on Talk of the Town. Go with your gut. We have decided B. B. Gail? Oh, I'm sorry. The answer is C. Sanders 42 to Clinton. (gasps) Yeah, it was a little off there. Sanders uh, still had only 42 delegates to Clinton 394. I guess it has something to do with something called super delegates. All right, stay tuned. The political race is just heating up. All right, you are next. Sandy, take a look. Where would you like your game block to go? Uh, B2. B2. Not too far from A1. What year did President Reagan say, tear down this wall? Was it A, 1986, B, 1987, or C, 1988? 86. Okay. Okay. We'll say B. B, 1987. Gail? Yes, that is the correct answer. 10 points. It was June of that year. Referring, of course, to the Berlin Wall and uh, when communism came to a crumble, at least in that part of the world. All right, William Dixon, you're next. Where do you want your game block? D1. At the top, Gail Petrie. D1. Fred Jackson. We know Fred. Love Fred. Uh, Former Buffalo Bill. He started his pro career on what team? A, the Sioux City Bandits, B, the Portland Thunder, or C, the Wichita Wild? Alrighty. C, Wichita Thunder. Wichita, C. Oh, I'm sorry. The answer is A, the Sioux City Bandit. Yeah, the indoor football league. We hope to see Fred back here in town sometime soon. You're a big Fred Jackson fan, Sandy? Big oh, yeah, I like them. Yeah? Okay. All right, Sandy, pick a game block. This is the last question in round one. Well, we're doing good with B. We'll go B3. Okay, B3 it three, is. B3. Three. Who said the stuff that dreams are made of? A, Gary Cooper, B, Humphrey Bogart, or C, Jack Nicholson? The stuff that things are made of. B. Humphrey Bogart, was it? Yes, that is correct. Yes, in the movie The Maltese Falcon. There he is, by the way, looking at that Maltese Falcon. Are you looking at me? I'm looking at you. Look at that film. One of the greats. Can't run it on offbeat cinema, though. It cost me a fortune. All right, Gail, what is the score as we end round one? Right now, we have red zero to blue 20. All right, we're going to put some points on the board for the red team, I promise. Stay tuned. Plus more with Gail right after this. scoreboard set with uh, Gail Petrie and uh, Gail you know we saw that artwork earlier when did you first become inspired to draw uh, really ever since I was little um, I would stand on the back porch and paint little doodles uh, ever since I was four I think is that what you want to do oh absolutely I'm gonna be an animator well maybe you will Hope let's so. take a look at this family photo because your mom's here uh, Kim Piazza who we got you know we get to know and your dad Armin Petrie and your brother AJ so what's uh, what's family life like Oh, man, there is certainly a lot of drama in the house. <laughs> <laughs> Who knew? Who well, knew? I mean, mom's an actor, dad's a uh, music m- musician, so a lot of drama. A lot of creativity yes. and a lot of positive <laughs> energy, right? Yes. That's right, Gail, Absolutely. so you spin that. And where do you go to school? Uh, Clarence High School. And uh, what are you uh, studying there? What are you uh, learning? You know, what's your favorite subject? Oh, well, I love treble chorus. Absolutely one of my favorite classes. Uh, the teachers are also great. Uh, you know, it's really hard to choose one class. What grade are you in now? Tenth. Tenth grade. All right. Let's take a look at the website for the Clarence Schools, because uh, if you're interested in that, you can find out more of what, uh, what Gail is doing in school, and we'll talk in a subsequent show about some of the music that uh, is being practiced there. It's a great, great school system in Clarence. We're back here on the game set with our teams on the red side, Team Bazinga. And they're playing against their family and friends from the better halves on the blue side. All right, we're gonna come over now and uh, meet Amy. And Amy, how are you? 
I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. We're going to put some points up, aren't we, Amy? Of course we are. Yeah, those crazy political questions. I don't know where we get them from. But anyway, you know what? Tell me what you do. I work at Suburban Adult Services. Good for you. And when did, when did you meet William? I met him about five years ago. All right. Love ever since, right? Yes, it has been. Oh, good for you. That's so sweet. Well, thanks for playing the game. Yep, we're going to win. All right, right, there you go. Amy's all about winning. All right, Daniel, how are you? How you doing? I'm good. What do you do, Daniel? I work at Arubus Brass for 40-some years. Wow, 40-some years at the same company. That's unheard of. <laughs> yeah, well, they changed so many different companies, but it's the same place. Yep. Well, and, and uh, you've done well there, I, su I suspect? Well, 40-some years, I'm still there. <laughs> for you, what's your favorite genre of trivia? Are you a sports fan? Well, yeah, I like football. Football? Okay, we'll see if we have some. I used to like bowling too. I bowled a lot. Bowling, bowling. We love bowling here. Beat the champ. Are you going to beat the champ with us? <laughs> well, I don't know about that, yeah, but. <laughs> but you like bowling? That's good. All right, Daniel's here. We have some great hometown teams that are here playing. Gail Petrie over there at the scoreboard. What's the score as we get into round two? Right now we have blue winning with 20 points, following by red who don't have any points yet. All right, we're going to try to get some points up for the red team. They're up next. Each question is worth 20 points in this round. So, yeah. all right, this. William Dixon, take a look at the game board. Where do you want that? block to go B1 B1 right at the top yeah. there yeah good here choice, we go William. good choice as the follow-up to the question we had in the last uh, round when was the Maltese Falcon when was that movie made a 1939 B 1941 or C 1944 Kim? Seriously? Yeah. It was, it was, it was, it, well, it was made in like 19 something. 39, 40, 1939, 1941, or 1944? We're going to go with 1941. B. Yes, that is yes! the right yes! Kim, I suspected you got a little frustrated because you didn't know what year it was. <laughs> no, 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 but you knew the movie, of course. No, yeah, my yeah. team members had it in the back. There bag, they go. So William no. and Amy got it. <laughs> All right, Sandy, take a look at the game board. Where do you want that block to go? Um, let's see. We'll go with A3. Okay. If you earned $4 an hour in 1972, what would that be in today's dollars? A, 12 bucks and 45 cents. B, 17 bucks and 72 cents, or C, 22 bucks and 68 cents? If you're in four bucks in 1972, is it worth $12.45, $17.72, or $22.68? C. <laughs> okay, Daniel mm -hmm. looks like he's got a choice for you. What do you think there, Sandy? Well, he says C, so we'll go with C. All right, they select C. Gail? Yes, $22.68. Yep, $22.68. William is next. Pick your game block there, William. A1. There you go. I hope you're a big Star Trek fan. Do you watch it on Saturday nights? Uh, no. Maybe? No. No? Okay. How many episodes do you think uh, of the original Star Trek series are seen here uh, on WBBZ? Were there? How many original episodes? A, 79, B, 113, or C, 147? 79, 13, 147. Star Trek Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Can you uh, do the answers again? Sure. A, 79 episodes. B, 113. Or C, 147. A, A. Let's, let's go with it. They're All right, we're going to choose A. A. Yes, A, yes! 79 yes! episodes. <laughs> you would have thought there would have been more, but... There weren't, so there you go. Sandy, you a big Star Trek fan? Live um, long and prosper? No, nah, I was, didn't yeah. really watch it. You're, oh, you're, you're holding up the, they're very good. All right, we'll, we'll all do that, okay. Oh, there you go. All right, great, we're up to question seven. Where would you like your game block, Sandy? Oh boy, well, we're gonna go for the win. We're gonna go for C3. Okay, I'm gonna try to get the strategy of going across. What year, uh, years I should say, did Drew Bledsoe play for the Buffalo Bills? Let's take a look at Drew. Did he play A, the year 2000 through 2003, B, the year 2002 through 2004, or C, 2004 through 2006? Oh, Jesus. Let's see. 2000 to 03, okay, 2 to 4, 2000, or 4 to 6? Yeah. We're going to say um, 
2004 to 2002 to 2004. B. B. Okay. Gail? He played from 2002 to 2004. Yeah, so it is B. All right, so we got an O there with that, with that correct answer. Okay, they're conferring now on the red team about where to put their game block. So where do you think, Team Bazinga? All right, we're going to block them by going with D3. Okay, block if you get this right. What years did Jim Kelly play for the Bills? Take a look at the great Jim Kelly. Did he play A, 1983 through 1995, B, 1986 through 1996, or C, 1987 through 1997? Jim Kelly, now running the Hunter's Hope Foundation with his wife, Jill in honor of their late son. I don't know, that's my guess, that's a guess. 83 to 95, 86 to 96, 87 to 97. What do you think, guys? We're gonna go with B. B is the selection, Gail Petrie. That is the correct yes, answer. That is yeah. right. yes. yeah, we're doing pretty good. Last question now in the second round. Sandy, this is a tight game, are you excited? Oh, yes. All right, give us that game block, because they just blocked you. Where do you want yours to go? Let's go with D1. Okay, at the top. D1. Which rank is highest? A, Rear Admiral, or Admiral B, Vice Admiral, or C, Admiral? Oh. <laughs> Rear Admiral, Vice Admiral, or C, Admiral? I'm gonna you can C. confer. All right. I'm going to go C, Plain Old Admiral. C, Plain Old Admiral. You are correct. Yeah, not a plain old admiral, he's the one. Yeah. All right, we have a great game going. What is the score at the end of round two, Gail? Let's see, we have blue in the lead with 80 points, followed by red with 60. Yeah, it's a tight game. Each question's worth 30 when we come back right after this. Bragging Rights on WBBZ-TV, your hometown television station, will continue after this from our sponsors. Hey, welcome back to Western New York's hometown trivia game show, Bragging Rights, where Team Bazinga is on the red side. A word in a popular sitcom versus the better halves, their friends and family that are here. And I'm wandering right over to this side, quickly, <laughs> to say hi to Kim Piazza. Hello, Kim. Hi, John DeShulo. How are you? Isn't it fun to join a team? It's great. For the we're, moment. We're, we're like, we are just rocking and rolling here, too, you yeah. know? We're getting, we're getting, team O is going down. What's it like? Do you have your daughter on the uh, the game board set? Uh, it's super cool. Of course, she just told the world that her family is dramatic. The 16-year-old told the world the family is dramatic. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, she's doing a great job, I love her. You know, she takes after her mother. No. <laughs> Do you hear that, Gail? <laughs> well, she's very blessed to have a great family. Oh, we are very blessed in my house. Both her and her brother are fantastic children. I think I'll keep them. Yep, you will. And we'll see maybe AJ on the scoreboard someday, you never know. And you are? Fran Dixon. Fran, how are you? I'm great. What do you do, Fran? I'm a retired by a City of Buffalo school teacher. Oh, good for you. What school did you teach? At International School 45. Wow, how long were you teaching? Uh, I taught there for about eight years. Good for you. Math. Math. We I, don't... It was my job to make math fun. Oh, my. <laughs> did you succeed? Yes. Good. I, they, they, when they saw me coming, they, yay, Mrs. Dixon's coming. <laughs> good for you. Good for you. Well, I hope you're having fun here today. A lot. Good. All right. So we are ready to play now. The beginning of round three is where we're at. Gail, what's the score as we get into the final round? Right now, the score is really close. Blue has 80 points and red has 60. 60 to 80, that's pretty close. We're up to question 11. Each question worth 30 points. William Dixon, take a look at that game board. C2. We're gonna go with C2. Good for you. Which of these Boeing aircraft has not been discontinued? A, the 727, B, the 747, or C, the 757 has not been discontinued. No, 747, Phil Arno, who writes most of these questions, an avid pilot. A or C? Boeing. 
has not been discontinued. Okay, go 727 for it. 747 757. William? A. 727. Gail? Oh, the answer is B, 747. Yeah, the 727. Oh. Yeah, 727 ended its run in 84. The 757 ceased production in 2004, but the 747 is still going. First flight in 1969. Yeah, you, you remember that year, Sandy? Yeah. Yeah, come oh. fly with me, Sandy, on a 747. Yeah, oh no, I was too young to go there at that <laughs> point. <so. laughs> All right, take a look at the game board. Where do you want your block? Well, let's see. We'll go with uh, C4. Okay. There it is, C4 pointing it out. Question 12. Who supposedly said there's a sucker born every minute? A, P.T. Barnum, B, Mark Twain, or C, Hillary Clinton? <laughs> yeah, number one. A, A. Let's try A. A is correct. Yes, the great <laughs> circus, P.T. Barnum. Yes, there are certain questions that have certain <laughs> selections that, you know, William, we just keep moving. That's what we do around yeah. here. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. All right, where do you want your game bo uh, block to go? C2. Okay, C2 it is. How many points does a snowflake have? A, 5, B, 6, or C, 8? 6. Gail. Six is correct. Yes. <laughs> Let's take a look at a snowflake because there it is, a snowflake. They're very unique. I think each one is original from what I understand, but they all have one thing in common. They are six-sided crystals of ice. How about that, Sandy? Did you know that? Yeah, I took a lot of science courses. There you so, go. Yeah. From, you kind of uh, knew it too, William? I know it from uh, the movie uh, Frozen. I would posit that the uh, certain points encountered it before. <laughs> of course, there you did. You know, Frozen, <laughs> the great movies of all time. All right, Sandy, where yeah, do you yeah, want your game block to go? <laughs> well, oh, let's see here. We're all over the map. Yeah, why don't we go with A4? A4, mm -hmm. on the bottom. Question 14, which is typically the largest? A, a wolf? B, a fox, or C, a coyote? A, wolf. Mm. Oh, a, a wolf. Andy, Daniel jumped right in there. What do you think? He is right. Yeah, a, a wolf. wolf. <laughs> There's one loose here in the studio, I think. All right, William, you're next. B4. B4. <laughs> B4, and not a moment too soon. For question 15, what is the number one ad-supported cable TV network? A, Fox News, B, ESPN, or C, The History Channel? Oh, boy. If you watch oh, cable, boy. Fox, just, ESPN, or History? ESPN, right? Yeah. Yeah, try that one. Who knows? Who knows? All right, we're going to go with ESPN. B. That is correct. Yeah. ESPN. Yeah. Yep. SPN, the sports. WBBZ. WBBZ is the number one station of all time, Kim Piazza. <laughs> Forever and a day. Sandy? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where'd you like your game block to go? The last question in the game. Oh, last, so it really doesn't matter where. Yeah, huh? I'll just pick one. A2. A2, sure. Yeah. <laughs> when did the United States enter World War I? December 1916, April 1917, January 1918. World War One. A, uh, December 1916. B, April 1917. Or C, January 1918. April 17. Yeah. I... Uh, April 17. B. Yes, April 1917. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you're, and, you're, and you're a science fan. Mm -hmm. All right, so there yeah. we are. This has been a fun game of bragging rights with some really cool folks. Gail Petrie, what's the final score? It was a very close game, and the winner is blue with 170 points. Red was close behind with 120. All right, the better halves claim the bragging rights. And uh, Gail, what was the score for the red team? I missed that. Ooh, the red team had 120 points. They oh. were real close behind. Yeah, so it was a really good game. Better halves, you win, and but we're not sending you home empty-handed, Team Bazinga. Yeah. We have some Buffalo Tom's Gourmet Hot Sauce. Yeah. Nothing Whoa. says a party like 
drinking a little bit of that. And for you folks, because you're so sweet, Sandy, we're sending home with some Sweetworks candy, some Ovations Sixlets chocolates from our good friends in Chictawaga. All right, hey, Gail Petrie, thanks for joining us on the uh, game board. We'll see you on the next edition, I'm sure. And if you would like to join us like these fine folks, go to our website, wbbz.tv, sign up, click the bragging rights icon. Chad and Mark Lini and I will book you right on the show, and we'll have some fun and play for good prizes. Thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll see you next time. Yeah.